What's going on everybody? So like a newbie, I had an update on my computer. I have to redo the video because there was no volume. It reset my microphone. So, got a little PSA Vintage in. Baseball only, as the title said. So, sorry Mr. Wildcat. It's only baseball. Um, I was sitting on these five cards for a long time and just decided just to send them in. And go with the flow because for me to find 20 nice uh, raw vintage cards is very, very hard to do. Most of the ones out there, as you guys know, come back like ones through two and a halfs because everybody's picked through the graded stuff. And it's just hard to find stuff that's in the raw nice. So, did find five throughout the course of the last, let's say in June, I got these roughly. So, let's take a look here. Up first, 1953 Tops Clipstein PSA 5. There's a sale out there at $125, but these should be going around $40 to $60, depending on what it looks like color-wise and stuff like that. So pretty cool to find a 53 Tops out there in a raw to get a 5. Up next, the 58 Tops Braves Fence Busters. Has Hank Aaron, Eddie Matthews on it, PSA 4. Pretty cool piece there. Yaz. This is the 61 Tops. The Star Rookie PSA 3. These do like $50 to $55. I think I picked this up for like $10 roughly. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like I said, it was in a big, bigger um, bulk deal onto everything the guy had. Up next, one of the most famous cards I say from what I always remember. The Maze Catch Makes History came back PSA 5. If I can get it to load right, come on. I don't know what's up. I'm about to get a new camera here. That's what I'm buying myself for Christmas. New webcam. I don't know. It's a 5. I'm telling you. There we go. Now it wants to show up right. PSA 5. It might be because of the glare being now, and I put them in the PSA sleeves. So, PSA 5 on it, 115 Pick that card up for $25. Finally, one shocked me, got a PSA 6, the 61 Tops MVP Hank Aaron. Really nice centering, as you can see. Really nice blue to the card itself. They go between 130 140 in this condition, which I think is really cheap to begin with. I picked this one up, I want to say it was for 35 in the deal, raw. So pretty cool that I was able to find a guy that was willing to work with me on some vintage. And he had a couple other pieces that I picked up as well, too. Um, overall, really good grades. I didn't think, I thought the maze was going to be a four, and I was thinking either a four and a half, possibly five on the Hank Aaron. So definitely, definitely under guessed what they would come out as but that is it um next video you guys should be seeing coming out will either be a card show that i forgot to do <laughs> uh video on or grid iron games contest grand prize so stay tuned for the next video have a good one everybody